Hi, this is Lori Ballin, and on this video, I'm going to show you what has changed with the submit URL to Google. Now, if you are blogging and, or creating uh, pages that you want to rank on the search engines to rank on Google, and you have a newer website or an older website that isn't crawled all that often because you're not publishing a lot of content, you're going to want to submit all new content all new content to Google so that it'll come out and crawl your website and then you can get your page ranked. You don't want to wait till the next time they come out and crawl your website if they're not crawling your website all too often. If you have a, a, a blog or a website you're producing content on uh, several times a week, this probably isn't going to be necessary. Google's probably crawling your website quite frequently and you're going to be fine. I have a new website here I'm working on and this is for my keto coaching company, my weight loss coaching company. And I wrote a blog about the egg fast on keto. Now what we're going to do is in the old days, we used to be able to go over here to Google and we could type in submit URL to Google. And right up top, there was a bar here where you could just submit your URL or you go down and, and you click here and you'd be able to do it right from here. That is gone. You now have to do it from your search console. So you're going to have to be set up on Google search console. I've got videos and training on how to do that as well. Once you're set up and you've got your website all in here, just go to on the left hand side, see this URL inspection, go there, paste your blog in the URL page to that blog and hit enter. Now, you should see a message that says it's not on Google. URL is not on Google. This is because it has not yet been crawled and picked up. If you have one you're worried about, you can put, put that in here as well and make sure that Google has indexed it. Now, keep in mind, indexing on Google is not the same as ranking. Indexing means it's already crawled it, it's already put it in its database, and it's determining or it has determined where to put it in the rankings. You, this test or this tool here is purely for making sure that it's indexed, but it has to be indexed first in order for it to rank. Now here you can test the live URL and you'll be able to take a look at what it looks like. And this is the same as um, Google used to have a fetch and crawl. And so it would go out and it would fetch, crawl it, and then it would fetch it and it would render it for you so that you could see what it would look like. So you're going to be able to do all of that from right here. I'm going to cancel this just so I can show you the rest. Then you're going to be able to see um, the information about it here. But what you want to do is if it has not been crawled, has not been indexed, click this button right here, request indexing. Now it's going to test it. It's going to crawl it and it's going to um, index it for you. And if there's any problems with it, it's going to let you know that right here as well. So again, this is how you're going to submit your URL to Google using Google Search Console's URL inspection instead of the old submit to Google. I'm Lori Ballin. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like more information about uh, getting help setting up your marketing tools, Check us out at balanbrands.com. Click the button and do a chat with us and we can talk to you about how we can help you in your business. Thank you for joining me today.